Sing along, clap along, the cameras aren't here, but for God's sake, if you have a mobile phone, if you need it switched on, put it on silent. If it's not necessary, could you please uh, prepare it to zero at the moment? Right, good evening ladies and gentlemen, you're all very welcome here to the Thatch Pub in Ballyshannon and indeed to the viewers worldwide. Just a note to the viewers worldwide, if you wish to make a comment or send in a request, please do so on site and we will try and get through them as the night goes on. 
We are here in the home of Irish music, which Ballyshannon is famed for, and I would like to thank Ballyshannon Town Council for sponsoring tonight's gig in conjunction with Ballyshannon 400. So that's enough from me. I would like to hand you over to the Seamus Sweeney School of Music. And a set of reels.
uh, at a couple of slides, Mick Dukens, Dennis Marcus, and Kitty Gadar. Each one to us.
slow it down. A wee mazurka. Sunny Burroughs. Do it three times. Gentlemen, what a start to the show. Are you all enjoying it? Yes. Yes. Excellent stuff. Whatever about the people here are enjoying it, they're enjoying it all over the world. The messages are coming in fast and furious. Well, I said from all over the world, the first one is from Tory Island. <laughs> and that is, we'll be with you in the Thatch and Spirit only tonight. Uh, th and that's thanks from Mike and Neil. And this is from Debbie in Michigan. Looking forward to a great evening. Thanks, Live Trad, for bringing it to us. We have another one from Bernard Kelly, listening in Milford, but this time not in Donegal, it's in Connecticut. And has posted a few requests, and one of them, if, uh, you may get around to it, Lord Gordon's. And that was uh, definitely pointed at Seamus Sweeney there. So there's one for you. And uh, Janine from, uh, from Nashville, actually, Greetings from Nashville and a very happy birthday to her loving husband, Bob. So well done, Bob, if you're looking in. Uh, we are intend to spend a few Bob here tonight and hope you have a great birthday. We're going to continue the show with uh, a solo on the banjo, I do believe, from Killian Duffy. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Killian <laughs> Duffy.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue the entertainment. We have Marion Kerrigan and uh, Michelle Laffer on guitar and tin whistle and uh, a little song as well, I do believe. Put your hands together for them. They're on their way in. Put it back on. As I stood and I gazed on the maid of sixteen By the woodland she wandered far and wide When by an oak tree she lay down to rest with a gay gallant youth by her side will you meet me tonight love my darling my dear our meetings at length are all over and will you love me as true as you once said you do will you meet me tonight on the shore towards early that evening the big ship set sail and it foundered on the rocks in despair and as he drowned, he dreamed of his maid on the shore. And many times he wished he was there. Will you meet me tonight, love, my darling, my dear? Our meetings at length are all o'er. Will you love me as true as you once said you do? Will you meet me tonight on the shore? Twas later that evening when all were at rest Twas calmly she wandered out the door With a cloak in her hand She went to the strand But she waited all night on the shore Will you meet me tonight, love, my darling, my dear? Our meetings at length are all o'er. And will you love me as true as you once said you do? Will you meet me tonight on the
folks. What a talent. What a talent. What a talent. We're spoiled and we're spoiling the rest of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, in a few moments we will be getting some dancers out. In the meantime, I'd like to introduce to you uh, our first citizen of the town, uh, Mr. John Meehan, who is going to uh, say a few words. Uh, we're going to have a slight little interview with him. And in that, when we're doing that, the dancers are going to organise themselves and get in. So this is not a time filler. Not really. We're doing this live. John Meehan, you're very welcome here tonight to the Thatch Bar in Ballyshannon. What a busy man you are. Even the hair has turned grey over this week. Maybe, John, you can give us a flavour of the amount of work that went into this and what lies ahead for Ballyshannon. Well, it's a very busy week. It's a 400 week. And uh, I'd like to welcome Live Trad here tonight. We're delighted that they, um, to sponsor them, coming tonight. It's their second event here in the Thatch. And I was actually in my hospital bed the last time watching them live uh, streaming. So they're very welcome. Busy week. Ballyshannon 400. It's a gathering week as well. We've had anything from uh, lectures about the history of Ballyshannon, the historical part of uh, our heritage. We've also had walks, tours, films, music, you name it, it's on this week. And it's not, it's not over yet. Uh, we're looking forward to see it. It's right through the Sunday night with a massive fireworks display. And John, uh, do, do you think has it been a success? Uh, I know some people have said that this, you know, the idea of the gathering was, uh, was a sort of an Irish way of turning around the economy. What's your own opinion? Personally, I think it's, uh, I don't believe what Gabriel Warren said about it not being, I think it's been a real success, and I think the numbers have proved that this week. You know yourself, you let out a walk on Monday with Anthony Begley, and we were expecting about, you know, 30 to 40 people. It was well in excess of 150 people at it. Every event we've had this week has been absolutely jam-packed. We had the House of Stories here the other night, which was amazing. We had a civic reception for Sean McGovern and Gary Keane. And you're going to speak to Sean soon. And you know, at the end of the day, it's all about people mingling and gathering and reflecting on where they came from. This is the oldest town in Ireland. I think anybody who lives here and anybody who's from here and lives abroad is actually so proud to be from Ballyshannon and, of course, to be from Donegal. Uh, John, uh, definitely, uh, when you talk about the diaspora, I suppose there's a lot of people actually looking in. Uh, who are probably wishing they were here with us and I can see that coming very much through on their emails. Uh, John, uh, uh, just maybe for those people that are actually watching in, uh, I, I can see we have some DVDs up here. Maybe you can explain to the viewers uh, what uh, actually this means and where they can be got. Yeah, you can actually log on to Balashanan TV uh, if you Google that and it gives a full range of what's happening and what has happened in Balashan from the Folk and Traditional Festival, the Rory Gollard Festival and everything like that. This is the DVD here. It's available online. It's, it shows in different sequences all that's good about Balashan. And I would ask anybody who's abroad to actually just click in and actually you can get it on YouTube as well. But if they want a copy, they contact our town clerk here at the office or log on to balashan.ie as well. And listen, this is just one uh, part of Ballyshannon, but it gives a great synopsis. And listen, we want to sell our town as a town that's great to live in. And, you know, we're going through hard times now, but we have everything here from the beautiful ocean to the natural amenities to actually swimming pools. We have leisure centers. We have lakesides. You know, no matter what it is, I think Ballyshannon, it's a hub to where to live. If you're in Letterkenny, work in Sligo, in Eskillen, or indeed anywhere in the West, Ballyshannon is a place to be. I can see after those comments, John, uh, the, the plane's been packed, flying into Knock and everywhere else, but all those tear, uh, starry-eyed people coming home uh, to Ballyshannon. Uh, apart from the 400 uh, which uh, we're actually celebrating, maybe again for the people that are uh, viewing here tonight, what exactly does the 400 mean? Well, the 400 means, in a sense, uh, that there's been politics of some sorts in this town. It was the charter that was signed off by uh, the King James way back 400 years ago, and it meant Balishan was a thriving port then. Um, sadly, this is the last year of the uh, town council as it stands. We had town commissioners beforehand. We have had a presence of politics from MEPs to town commissioners to harbour commissioners right up to now. Sadly, I'm going to be the last mayor of the town. But listen, we have to work together in this. And uh, music is our heritage, it's our culture. And you know, if you can't sing and laugh about it, and you've seen such wonderful people here, let's go for it. So the word from the mayor to all those viewing in is, come to Ballyshannon. This is just a flavor of what is here. Uh, and uh, you're, uh, it, it, as they say, it's the, the, the town of the welcomes. 
uh, no strangers, only friends who have not yet met. So th is that your message to the viewers, John? And it is, and I think tonight epitomizes that when you have music, song, and you're going to have dance in a minute. And I think that's brilliant. And you know, I know there's even a woman in Cashel Hard, Alison Dolan, and her mom is playing there. And uh, she told me to say hello to her, but my uh, sister-in-law in San Francisco is logging in tonight, my brother-in-law in San Francisco. And listen, technology is brilliant. Th these guys can put it on, and you know, you can just tune into Ballyshannon and, and we'd like to see them back again. And hopefully we'll be able to facilitate that before we finish next June. So there you go, folks. That's a real family affair from the mayor in Ballyshannon here. So thank you once again, John Meehan, for sparing some of your very precious time by coming up and joining us here. I do realise that you have two more functions to attend tonight. So uh, I thank you very much once again. And the best of luck to everybody here and everybody tuning in. Ballyshannon's live. It sure is. Thank you once again, John Meehan. Our mayor had to say don't forget you can view this program all week by just going on to trad live trad.com that's live trad.com and it's up there to be viewed for the the rest of the week or a full week uh, so you can have an opportunity to, to view it again now we're going to continue the proceedings with a reel I do believe uh, an eight hand reel from the dancers, I think they're from Rosnola. Rosnola, a very big area. So, I need a hand reel from the Rosnola dancers.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, definitely no sign of arthritis in the one from Rosnola. What marvellous dancing. Just a few messages uh, coming in from Elaine, and this is from Texas. Thank you all for entertaining this across the ocean. Keeps those missing Irish blues away for a little bit. Thanks to uh, Live Trad for, as usual, bringing us this show. From Jorg, and this is from Salamanca in Spain. And it just goes yippee. Uh, we love the tunes. From Bernard uh, Keelty, a round of beer. Relax, people. And Benny, the proprietor, is after smiling. He means, I mean cheers for the lads and lassies. Very nice music. So those are just a flavour of some of the messages that are coming in. Uh, we will continue, I think, now uh, after our dancers. We have Lydia Warnock and have we Brian Sweeney here? We have Lydia Warnock and Brian Sweeney on fiddle and guitar. Uh, and that will be followed immediately then by uh, Father Herbie, who's going to come up and join us now. And we'll introduce Father Herbie when it comes to his time. All right? Next. No. Next. What did
Now, ladies and gentlemen, a man that needs no introduction in Ballyshannon, and I'm sure some of the viewers that are watching in will recognise this gentleman as well. Could you put your hands together for Father Herbie Bromley, who is going to give us his rendition of W.B. Yeats's The Isle of Inish Free. Best of order, please. Oh, the mic could be handy. <laughs> I've met some folks who say that I'm a dreamer I've no doubt there's truth in what they say But sure a body's bound to be a dreamer When all the things he loves are far away and precious things are dreams unto an exile They take him o'er the land across the sea Especially when it happens he's an exile From that dear lovely I love in his free I wander o'er green hills through dreamy valleys and find a peace no other land could know. I hear the birds make music if for angels and watch the rivers laughing as they flow. But dreams don't last and dreams are not forgotten and soon I'm back to stern reality But though they pave the footways here with gold dust I still will choose my Isle of is free Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. Thank you very much indeed, Father Herbie. Just to all the people that are viewing in, uh, apologies. Uh, just to let you know, if you think that I'm uh, sort of neglecting you, you're one of, at this moment in time, 3,528 messages. So that's just to give you an idea of what we're getting and what's been sent in. So uh, please bear with us. We're promised to get through at least 3,000 of them between now and the next 12 months. Uh, this one's from the Netherlands and it's from Henry. And it says, great to see so many young people playing trad music. Awesome. <laughs> and so say all of us, by the way. Uh, the next one is from Wicklow and is from Andrea Ryan. Great job, everyone. Love a good old trance session. Love to be with you. Uh, the next one is from Ellis. Well, this is nice. So there you go, a short message, but it says everything, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to continue with the proceedings with three young musicians uh, sitting here on my left. And we have... Clive Arkinson, Martin Tracy, and James McCafferty. Going to play a set of tunes for us. Please, folks, enjoy. Let's tap along. Let's encourage them. Let's keep it going. Well done. Well done.
Oh, the talent here it just beat you. Yeah. I mean, it's coming in again from all over. This is from Dave. My five-year-old daughter is dancing with the music. So I'm sorry if you can't get your children to bed all over the world for what we're bringing you from Ballyshannon. But believe me, come along. There's plenty more. It's here to be seen. From Eva in Boston. Wish I was with you all. Fine place to touch. And I love a place called Finn McCool's. I don't know what that is about. The local... <laughs> The, the locals will know the, that one. Uh, and this is from uh, Ivan from France. I wish, I wish I was in Ireland right now. I always wanted to meet you guys. Thank you for a lively concert and thank you to uh, Live Trad. Okay, we have a, a storyteller uh, in our midst and we're going to get her to... And I've heard this woman perform. Uh, I think it was on her birthday. I think it was her 21st birthday, which was about two years ago. Uh, could you put your hands together for uh, uh, Rasheen Lee, please? <laughs> this is a little recitation my father wrote in 1942 and it's about a little man called Paddy Ninestone and he was four foot eleven so here goes <coughs> it's down in, in the show in Clarendon up Mound Street on a morning fair rode Paddy Ninestone on an old grey mare a splendid picture indeed they made so I thought of the charge of the Light Brigade. He wore a cap and a necktie red as he sat astride of old seldom fed. And some of the boys with a lot to say said, Paddy, we'll give you a push over the bray. Or we'll call out the vet if you're going far. When he's done, you'll be off like a motor car. Or Paddy Hurl might give you a tow, as your pace at present is rather slow. Stand back, says Bertie, and let her pass. Our temperance front with a lump of grass. P.H. he strolled to the corner then, and he gazed around at the bunch of men. He looked at Paddy, and the crowd did say, I thought it was William crossing the boyne. There sat Paddy, pale as death, for he wanted to give the old girl the rest. Up came a guard that summer's day and ordered Paddy to clear away. Where did you get that thoroughbred? Paddy looked at the guard and said, I've known this mare and where she was reared. She was sold last night by Willie Baird. And I'm taking her up to a Nilly's man who I think intends to plow more land. So we give him a cheer, and she cocked her tail, and off she went like chaff in the gale. A moving mass of skin and bone, the reins, the saddle, and just nine stone. But they only got to the workhouse gate when down she fell with all this weight. There lay Turpin and Bess so grey, holding the swilly bus at bay. Then Tom, our Tommy, blew a blast and shouted out, Can we not get past? I'll go round by the circular road today. I'm afraid the mayor has passed away. So they never reached that Ellie's van. Instead, they wired for the knacker's van. And now when you're having your chips and fish, and you feel like having another dish, just think, kind friends, of that wholesome fare and the lard that came from the old grey mare. <laughs> well, now try following that around the firesides of Ireland, I'll tell you. Uh, a few more messages. This is from uh, Ellis is all it says. Uh, well, and, well, I think we've read this one before. Well, this is nice. Maybe she's back on again. From Josephine. Well done, Rosemary, Connor, and Christopher. 
Great to see and hear uh, of you all in Ballyshannon. Best wishes, Josephine, and that's from Durraganley. The next one is from James McGowan. Wishes from London. Please say hello to my mum, Bernadette McGowan. Where are you? Ah, uh, well forgotten. Bernadette McGowan, who is in the audience and has travelled all the way from South Africa. South Africa. So. By the way, you cannot put in your uh, expenses to the town council. <laughs> you came with your own free will. Okay, we're going to move on with uh, some songs. Have we got? We have, I see Barry Gallagher there, ready to go. And uh, that is followed then by Shane, Lisa and Brian, I think. If they're all there, get them in. And let's keep this party alive, okay? Yeah. Doing very well, everybody. from Nor Norway yeah. and you want me to say hello to him? Hello Darren. Try yeah. it yourself. There you go. <laughs> well done. My young love said to me my mother won't mind and my father won't slight you for your lack of kind and she stepped away from me and this she did say it will not be long love till our wedding day she stepped away from me and she moved through the fair and fondly i watched her move here and move there till she made her way homeward with one star awake as the swan in the evening flew over the lake the people did say no to her when but one has a sorrow that never was said and she smiled as she passed with her goods and her gear and that was the last that I saw of my dear I dreamt it last night my young love came in so softly she entered her feet made no din and she came up close to me and this she did say it will not be long love till our wedding day <laughs> Are they ready to go? I ready to rock down now. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Okay. Make it up as we go along. <laughs>
Right, Lisa. It's Brian. Take it off. Hey, I'm going to do a song called Soldiers in Dreams. This is written by Adrian Lennon. Mm. <laughs> Soldiers and dreams are like lovers who come without warning and take you by surprise when you think you must make it alone. Sooner or later, their presence is only a memory. Yet you know that without them, you'd never have rolled back the stone. As lovers lie sleeping, I find myself traveling towards you. The morning arises, the wind is as soft as a sigh. And whatever's before me is nothing to what I have come through. pain and the passion, the tears and the laughs and the lies. Romeo tells me that Juliet, she can't live without him. And Ophelia is crazy for Hamlet who wants to be king. Distance, Mark Anthony loves Cleopatra. While Portia sits silently, soliloquizing in the wings. My darling once told me that loving is better than living. But I told him survival for me was the easier game. I couldn't live with him, now it's that I can't live without him. I thought I'd feel different, but somehow I still feel the same. So if lovers are losers, what price the game we are playing? What price the man who's not got the money to pay? And the silence of angels means praying is just an illusion. For the lost and the lonely And those who have nothing to say For the lost and the lonely And those who have nothing to say Okay. What is 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're just uh, we're during the changeover, a few more little greetings. Ivan from France. I wish I wish I was in Ireland right now. I always want to meet the Irish people. Uh, thank you very much for your live concert. I feel I'm Irish tonight. So there you are. We're we're even incre we're not sending them away. They're coming back to us. And this one is uh, from. Sammy, and this is in Finland. Once again, Live Trad shares treasures with us. So, uh, again, Live Trad being complimented. Tom, Gemma, and Harry, and Aoife, a massive hello to Sean O'Brien from the Cullings in Whitechurch. So, there are some little greetings for you. Who we have here? No, you're the man in charge. Yep. We're going to keep the concert alive only if you keep clapping, folks. So do you want them to keep going? Okay. And if there's anybody up there, Benny, could I have a pint of water, please? the night. I didn't hear it. We've come. That's more like it, Balashannon. Just a, a little message or two uh, for those people watching in on the WWW World Wide Web. The next uh, live trad will be on the 31st of August and that is at 6 p.m. and that's coming from the Electric Picnic but it's live trad guys from Electric Picnic. So, I think that's it for tonight. Have you all enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. Did Bally Shannon love putting on the show? Yeah. Would we like to thank the Town Council for sponsoring it? Yeah. And although it's not the Late Late Show, but it's getting very close to it, there is a few DVDs, but not one for everybody in the audience, but they are available. Uh, just to, to do the little plug, I don't write books, but uh, there's a, these DVDs are obtainable in the Town Council office for those of you that are travelling abroad. Okay, once again, thank you all very much. And by the way, thanks. the biggest thanks of all goes to Seamus Sweeney, 
and his school of music. Yeah. What a yeah. talent! Yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Good night.